Ghost Runners, welcome, I'm b to b and this will be a triple lore win flashback draft. I have not played this format at all, not that I can remember, but a few of the cards were reprinted in Modern Masters, so I at least have some knowledge, and uh, as far as I know, the, the set is based on tribals, so there we have it. Thought Weft Trio, five hundred champion of Kithkin. Uh, it's pretty strong, but I have already eyed in a Moldrifter, which I think I'm gonna take, but um, I'm, the thing is that I don't know how good Moldrifter is compared to uh, a tribe specific rare, but uh, it it feels like pick one. This has to be better. Uh, there is a lot of good cards like the weed strangle and stuff like that, but it feels so hard to go wrong with the Muldrifter, more or less. And the snipe I like. Uh, what do we have? Goblin Karn. Yeah, that's pretty good. I do recall this being somewhat interesting but who knows really uh, yeah that's also pretty solid the thing is I don't really know when you, sh you should go into um, to a tribal I mean we have one elemental we can take another I, I'm not certain how good elementals are specifically but uh, Sephirnet seems pretty poor. I think I'm just gonna take uh, the snipe because I know that's that's a solid card. Okay, we got a Dream Spoiler Witches, which I like. Imperious Perfect, uh, I'm pretty certain it's a good sign too. So what's missing? A rare and an uncommon. Mm. Neck snap is probably pretty good too. Uh, counter spell. Yeah. I mean, I do like fairies. This could be pretty cool if we could go into Murfolk. That seems hard to to get through. What do you do? Okay. And this is this is really tough because I don't really know what you're supposed to take. I think all of the cards here are reasonable. Uh, I'm gonna take the Dream Spoiler Witches. I'm not certain that it's the correct pick, but I don't think the Elf goes well with my two first picks. And uh, Blue black seems like a pretty good place to be. Wanderer's twig, okay. Destroy target non elf creature. That seems like a a decent card anyway. Okay, so it's an index Merfolk. This has to be super good, right? seems like something people I guess it seems like something people could underestimate and send back to me but that's pretty good too I think I'm gonna take this uh, yeah it seems cool overall since there isn't really that much of this effect nowadays, like onboard combat tricks, and people tend to underestimate them. 4-4 four, four, Merfolk for a 6 man this is here. Okay, that's pretty cool, I guess. Changelings are pretty good, at least I would assume. And that gives them vigilance, more or less. Leaf Gilder seems pretty good too. Elf seems kind of openish, I guess. It's kind of expensive though. I'm gonna take the Changeling. 
So what do we have here? Another elf. We could still be elves, I suppose, but... Uh, that's expensive, Whisper. We got Shimmering Grotto and we got... Huh. <coughs> that does seem pretty reasonable to me. Yeah, why not? Decent stats, decent abilities. Yeah. So what do we have here? Not that much. We got an Ingotur. Might take Shimmering Grotto, I guess. Uh, yeah, that seems reasonable. I don't recall what you do. You make or break creature types. Okay. And a twig. Yeah, sure. Seems good enough, I'd say. Uh, that seems pretty good. I mean, there's no blue cars and there's only one black and it's heavy elf. So you get a 1-1 one, one and then you can use it to pump. I just like cards like that <laughs> a lot. No. Yeah, sure. That could be could be good, I suppose. So we got rune stalactite, stupid flyer. Cancel. Yeah, sure. That's just not very good, but I'm not certain that we want a twig either, so yeah, sure. Triclopian sight. Uh, sh yeah, sure. Okay, whatever. And, okay. So blue seems fairly open. Black doesn't seem open at all. Thorn of Amethyst. Hmm. I could take that for the value, but I don't think I'm going to. We got Meruragery, which is pretty good. And we got Nameless Inversion, which is quite sick. Uh, a Merfolk Tapper. Hmm. How many Murfolks do we have? One, two, three, four, five. Still think that's good enough. So, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I don't think we'll get it back. Oh well. What do you do? Oh, that's pretty neat. That really is, because we can like copy a lord or something. Uh, no black cards to talk about. Okay, that is a pretty good combo with the Streambed Aquitect. We have another tapper. Two mana is pretty expensive though. I think I'm just gonna take the changeling because you don't really get to play with rares all that often, so sure. Makeshift mannequin. That could be cool, but we have a nameless inversion. That has to be that has to be just sick. 
good with the dream spoiler which is two. Uh, there's another Murfolk, we could wheel it perhaps. Yeah, Nameless Inversion is definitely the pick here. Like <laughs> Guile. Okay. <sighs> what do you do? Hard to block. Okay. It's decent, I guess. Decent. Pilfers is pretty good anyway. Uh, no, that doesn't seem good. Doesn't seem good either. No. Do I take Pilfers here even though it doesn't synergize with my deck at all? Or do I just take a wall? <laughs> or a bad removal? I guess we take. I'm gonna take Guile. I'm not certain we will play it, but. Another little changeling, but we have. It is expensive, but having some removals could be could be good. Spring lift drum, no. So how do we look here? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven merfolks and fairies. But we're not really fairies. We're just having a counter spell and a fairy wizard. That works with instants. Right now we have one, two. Yeah, I think it's worth picking up. Good removal. Ooh, thieving sprite. It's still pretty good. Uh, going with the graveyard. No. Hmm. That could be good. Um, I guess it's take Thieving Sprite. I like the card in general and even though we don't have specifically fairies, it's kind of likely that we would have one more fairy somewhere. Otherwise we just get them to discard their worst card, but... Hmm. Okay, no. No, probably not. Uh, I guess we take the tribal sorcery. Not that I want to play it, but it could be good, I suppose. A 2 3 flash flying for 4. It's okay with Dream Spoiler Witches, I suppose. Yeah, and it's the only real option we have. Clash, then return. Okay, it's an unsummon, basically. Uh, with potential upside. And this is just a 1-1. One, one. But it's kinda good because it... Yeah, it's kind of good, I suppose. Uh, I'm gonna take the Whelm. Uh, Target creature has base power and toughness 4. Okay. Yeah, I'm not gonna play anything else. I mean, Smoke Braider would have been awesome, but I did not think. Uh, elementals would be that open. Okay, sure. <sighs> I just don't think that we would play this, but whatever. Probably not playing with this either. Technically, we could play this, but I hope it doesn't come to that. Three mana regenerate. Pretty good for delirium purposes, I suppose. So I'm not certain that <coughs> we're doing this perfectly. Ooh. Okay. Can we get red in here? 
So what are we looking at? Ground room secret seems pretty good. Prankster seems pretty good too. I'm gonna lose so many games to Chandra. I'm pretty certain of that. It's just like it comes down, kills your best creature. You can probably not kill it in return. It kills off something else, and then it just no, that's not good. Ground room secret seems. Very strong though. We have one, two, three, four, five, six. We need more Murfox. Still think I'm gonna take it though. Oh, another Muldrifter and a Sweet Ponder, but real kind of land. Hmm. Draw three spells. Is that better than Moldrifter? Uh, I kind of like this. Is like here you get three spells, and here you get two random cards, but you also get a two-two flying, and option to cast it earlier. Yeah, I'm gonna take Moldrifter. <coughs> Ooh, Moonglove extract. Uh, Cloud Guard Ranger. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's pretty good, I suppose. I hope this wheels because I kind of need them now. Yeah, I think I'm gonna take the Harbinger. Seems good. Can get a Lord. Can get our big stuff. Yeah, seems good. Another Aquitect. And that's it. Alright. Some picks are easier than others. So here we have just a merfolk. And we have... No. Yeah, this kind of seems like what we want actually. So now we have one... Two, three, four... Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. That's uh, better. This is not that good though. <laughs> we have Avian Changeling, which is pretty solid. Uh, that's pretty good with Muldrifters, I suppose. And uh, the Snipe. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not gonna splash. Sure. There's another thieving sprite. Sure, get in there. Uh, I'd rather play this over the stinger at least. Kith can spell. Not really for us. Nothing here is for us, really. Sure. Uh, yeah. So we can cut a card. It's not that it's not, but I don't think it's anything up here. None of the four drops either. Can't split them up here now. I was thinking, how many spells do we have? But a number of target creature cards. Sure, that's at least a sideboard card. So we have five spells, is that it? Yeah. 
So I don't think we cut any of these. Two counter spells, two removal spells, and an uh, on summon. So what do we cut? Could play 16 lands, I suppose, but... Uh, Yeah, what do we cut, really? I guess the Sentinel isn't doing that much for me. I mean, I want to have Merfolks. That's it. Thieving Sprites does add up with the Changelings. Dreams Bully Witches doesn't have that many good synergies, but we do have a few and it's still a 2-2 flyer. I mean this is a 2-3 flyer but with no potential upside. <sighs> we do have a Guile if we want to run it. It is pretty good. Uh, no, no, most likely not. Sideboard, no. And no, okay. I do still believe that Edda Snipe is pretty good. Even though it doesn't synergize with the deck at all, I think. Just having this is pretty good. Island Walkers will be pretty good. We might we might actually be willing to play this. Not cutting Mole Rifters, they're good. Not putting cutting you either. Greenswell Witches doesn't seem super good. We have four spells that we could cast and if we cut the flash flyer then we don't have anything else with the flash, right? No. We could cut Dream Spoiler Witches too and bring in Aquitect's will. It's kind of good because it screws with their mana and it, do, it does cycle, so. No, it's an in addition. It would have been better if it was. It is an island. So we have one island walker, two island walkers. We have stuff that gives island walk. What I like is that <coughs> we have the potential to be kind of aggressive and just keep hitting them and we can also be kind of stalling and just send in one guy at a time while keeping us alive with like civil shield dowser and we can also be really controlling and mill them out with uh, where are you the drowner of secrets Hmm. Do we want Guile? I mean, we could also look at the deck like this if we want to. And if we're looking at it this way, we would not mind playing one big finisher. We won't have any trouble casting it. I really don't know what I want to cut if that's the case. One, two, three, four, five, 
six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve merfolks. Yeah, I don't think we can cut a merfolk either. We could play Guile in 16 lands, banking on our Muldrifters and um, uh, no, we didn't get any Silver Jill Adepts. So if we put in Guile, what do we put out? Ghostly Changeling won't be that great because we won't have that many swamps. But it is a Merfolk which is good. Yeah, I'm gonna run it like this and see where we end up. I think one more swamp is good. Alright, there you have it. I'll see you shortly for the first match. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe, it really helps us out. You can find us on Twitter at MagicGathStrat, Facebook slash MagicGatheringStrat, or on the web MagicGatheringStrat.com. There you can find articles and free prize supported leagues. This is all brought to you by our Patreons and CardHoarder.com. If you enjoy this content, please consider supporting us at Patreon.com slash MagicGatheringStrat.